Hello and welcome to this tutorial on building a portable Windows 11 environment using Windows to go and in this video we will walk you through every step to create a bootable and portable operating system on you know a USB drive that works seamlessly across devices well here you're going to need some tools and before you begin you should ensure that you have everything and you'll need what you'll need the windows 11 iso file a usb drive with at least 64 gigs of storage for optimal performance and the rufus software which we will use to create the portable windows environment well let's get started so first we are going to start by downloading Rufus from its official website. So let me show you where you are going to download the Rufus. Well, here on the Google, all you need to do is to type the Rufus on the search bar and it will suggest you the best match, the first top link, that is the official website of the Rufus. And all you need to do is to click here and it looks like that. It, it used to create bootable USB drive that the easy way and here you can download any form of any any type of Rufus software from here like the standard portable standard whatever and you all, all you need to do is to right click and save as link or you just click on this Rufus 4.6 and it will be downloaded and these are some requirements which you can see here and assess with your current operating system so as soon as you downloaded the Rufus, you'll find that it is a lightweight and user-friendly tool for you know creating bootable media. And once downloaded, then install. So let me run the Rufus from the machine because I have already downloaded the Rufus in this Windows 11 machine. Now here, the Rufus is available in the folder. And it is already downloaded, so we don't need to, you know, upgrade or install it another time. Now, here, once you launch the Rufus, as you can see, that it's really lightweight. Now, you need to insert your USB drive into your PC and open the Rufus. So let's check the USB drive, whether we have inserted or not. So let's click to this PC. And here you can see that we have already inserted our USB drive into the PC. So once you verify that, then launch the Rufus. And from the device dropdown, all you need to do is to select your USB, USB drive. But if you already inserted that USB drive into your machine, so you will see that Rufus will auto detect that USB. And once you find out that, Make sure you back up any data on the USB drive because this process will erase every data on your USB. Now, another thing you're going to need that we have already discussed is the Windows 11 ISO file. So let me locate the file whether where we have this Windows 11 file. Let's click to the download and definitely it should be there. And there it is we have windows 11 iso file we have rufus we have usb now here once you launch the rufus click on the select and locate your windows 11 iso file and there it is and this is the exact iso file that we are going to use here and for this option image option we are going to go with the windows to go but right now it is scanning the image and it takes few moments to scan your image and once it's done then come to this image option and choose windows to go and ensure the partition scheme is set to gpt and the file system should be set to ntfs for compatibility which is already selected here now let's make it to the windows to go environment for this specific process. Now, to create and to start the process, you should click to the start button. 
to begin creating your portable Windows 11 environment. But, you know, Rufus will warn you that all the data on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you want to confirm this process, and it will take time depending on the speed of your USB drive, so be patient. And here it is asking you for, you know, the version of the Windows that you really wanted to install in this USB. So right now, let's go with the Windows 11 Pro and then click OK. And here are some few more questions for Windows installation, like prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disk, remove requirement for an online Microsoft account, yeah. Create a local account with this name, set regional option to the same video as this user. Yeah, that's OK. And click OK. And here it is checking for the conflicting processes and the status is ready and again it is asking for the data that if you already have some data and some files on your USB so it will take the whole space and delete all the previous data from your USB drive and in that case you will face a loss of your data so let's click OK if you have no worries regarding your data and then the process will be started like that and it will take a few whiles to you know complete this process and you have to be patient and the good thing is what that while this process is going on on the status section you will see that what is really going on like it's creating file system that is task 1 oblique 12 completed and it show you all the process and it will be more transparent while this is going on and now you can see the status that all the foundation file system and each and everything has been done successfully and now it started to apply windows image which is you can see the current progress and it depends on your usb speed and the type of usb you're using but preferably you should use the ssd for this process to make it go like you know in a quick way 